Presenting she, the wisest Imperator, the guardian of arms. If you're looking to drown your worries at the bottom of a bottle, this is the place for you. I'm Goethe and Asker, and this is my establishment. But if you're looking for the Victor's Brew, we don't sell that in Asker's Alley, and you'll have to take your business elsewhere. It's the most popular drink in Amalur, at least it is now. My Asker's Ale used to be the preferred beverage, but every day brings more cancelled orders. My brother and I are working on a new drink, but it requires something special. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help. If you do, I could see to it that the merchants in Issa treat you well. So here's what we're thinking. Bring back our grandmother's favorite Asker's Draft, a classic. The recipe calls for bristletongue seeds, and if you're talking rare ingredients, bristletongue tops the list. It's worthless for potions, but tastes fabulous. The problem is that the Fae control the use of bristletongue, as it's a product of the Fonts waters. Talk to Jackson, their apothecary. He can probably get it for us. Good luck. Welcome to the alley. Hey there, pretty. This is Asker's Alley, best tavern in Issa. Only tavern in Issa, of course, but you didn't know that, did you? If you're new in the city, I can help. I know everything about the understyle, the embassy, the scolia arcana, you name it. I know it all. Bye now. Give me room. The House of Ballads must have taught you courtly manners, but not enough to keep you from interrupting. What is it, Your Grace? I am not petty, but I have limits, as do we all. I know I should lead the formation because of my position, but other, more tender individuals will insist otherwise. Whatever you do, do not make me walk behind the High Fey Mage Goronet. How shall I put this? He has... an odor. If you value this position, you will make sure Lord Setter is not behind Huntress Hartwin. She finds him despicable, as do I. Of course. But see that it doesn't happen again. Good. You've come. I'm sorry to make you wait like this, but what I mean to discuss is very sensitive. It involves treachery. Despite the calm you see around you, the gardens of Issa are on the brink of war, and the question is, which one will it be? There are plans being made to seize this city. The Varani are displeased with the Court of Summer's lack of support for their people, and they wish to overthrow Tatarian and force the remaining Fae to fight. We can prevent this, but we must act now. If saving your people isn't enough, we can pay you as a reward. The Varani cannot stomach Tatarian's neutrality. They believe that his Fae subjects could be convinced to march with us on the battlefield. I believe this as well, but I would never resort violence. The Varani wish to turn Issa into a military camp. We cannot let that happen. It will ruin all our people have achieved here. Of course, it is the right thing to do. The leader of the plot is the Varani ambassador, Kirna Brenner. Every night, the ambassador strolls Memory Walk, alone. She carries a pair of daggers. Take them. Afterwards, dispose of them. Destroy them. Salvage them. I don't care. Return to me when it is done. 
goodbye. How do you know to believe? I know the May Lyria touch you. Presenting she, the wisest Imperator, the God... Watch your back. My liege. Presenting she, the wisest Imperator, the Guardian. Oh, was that it? Mm. Welcome to the Lyceum Grove where the majesty of the font is glorified and regulated. I am Jackson, apprentice to the font master and steward of tinctures and elixirs. Result of my moy, that would be something. A mockingbird the font's only yield. Of course I will tell you where it is. What would be the fun in refusing? But before I do that, you need to offer me something. Isn't that how you mortals act? One deed for another? A steward of tinctures and elixirs, I often dabble in alchemy, especially with the water from the font. And I need you to drink this potion. Good. I will know what this does to the mortal constitution. Go on, big gulps now. None of that sipping. Do come see me again. Welcome to the alley. Need some chatter? I've got plenty to go around, pretty. Bye now. Presenting she, the wisest and... Welcome. Oh, you took me by surprise. I'm not accustomed to mortals on the trellis. Please, enter. I am Lord Saramur, the High Lore Sage of Issa. I am here to answer all questions regarding the House of Ballads and the House of Valor. May good fortune follow.
you feel it, don't you? If anyone intimate with the ways of magic can detect the waning current, you're like me, your grace. You see the end. Is this how it happened at the House of Ballot? Did Hallam foresee this slow decay? I had a feeling he did. Of the gardens of Issa? Of the summer court? Why, this crystal war may be the end of all Fay. I know because I am Nomaron, master of the font, the wellspring of all summer court magic. I've seen it flow at its highest, but I've never seen it so dry. Something must be done before all this city withers into nothingness. The font is the source of all summer court magic. It has flowed through this mountainside since our kind sprang up from the dirt. That flow has waned in recent days. It's unnatural, even as the magic in the world grows. The fade, it seems, will wither. The font's flow is controlled from the Lycian Grove down below. We must open the root system and allow more water through. However, the magic that regulates this flow can only be used by some. It's protected by a ward known as the Waterlock. It can only be opened by one who carries drops from each of the five sacred pools surrounding Issa. Collect these drops and you can break the Waterlock. Goodbye. What do you want? I am the Great Huntress Hartwan, and you are not allowed on the trellis. What brings you here, beautiful? Oh, quaint! Well, I am the most respected and most deserved to lead. Besides, I detest that harlot, Warlord Winry. So it is only right I meet the High King before her. Goodbye. What's this then? we'll never see. Presenting she, the wisest Imperator, the Guardian. What do you want? Do you have business with the Varani in the Gardens of Issa? If so, then you must speak with me, Kierna Brenner. You must mean Keen and her cohorts in the Embassy. Lapdogs, all of them. They don't appreciate the situation. They don't understand sacrifice. This plot interests you. Listen, Ambassador Keen tries to stop me, but she can only do so while she lives and breathes. You can help me put an end to that. Such as this game of diplomacy, all options are in play until an obvious choice presents itself. Force can be quite useful if you know how to clean up after yourself. Kill that scheming whore. When it's done, deliver these daggers for me. A courier awaits you in Aiton Village, to the east. This is what must be done. 
The Varani will not be threatened. I have titles, but for a price. If you need to worship, So, you're done. A right group of snakes, eh? So, any insight into how I should present them so as not to tug their writhing tails? It's good that someone does. Go on. Let's line up these backstabbing serpents. Yes, yes. Of course. And then? All right. Next. Yes, yes. Excellent. That's a perfect order for these fools. Saves me the trouble of talking to them. Thank you. Farewell, honorable one. Hello. I am at your service, my liege. Uh. I am at your service, my liege. The font must be protected. Do you seek answers? High King Tetarian is waiting for you. It's Please been a long time since I've been here, and he will continue. Conceived in chaos, birthed in stolen magic, torn from fate, child of two fathers, treacheries in treacheries, winter is broken. The puppet king upon his throne, drinking flattery and lies. The power that grows in him is not his own. In the east it did begin, as it will end. As it will end. Behind the veil she screams. Madness and rage. 
madness and rage. We realize this may be confusing for you. Fate, like the Fae, cannot be changed. But the Tuatha are Fae who have become something new. And you are a mortal who is free from Fate's weave. Gadflo claims that the Tuatha are the work of his new god. If the Tuatha are the creations of a god, what does that make you? The time of the Fae is passing. Our land and our souls are diminishing. Few Fae even realize that the great cycle is shifted. Gadflo's war means the death of us all, Fae and mortal alike. It is written in the weave that we shall all pass from this world together. It is too late for us, but not for you. That is the fate which I look to you to change. The power of a god in the brash hands of a mortal. This is why Nerolim fears what you might become. This age has seen much change. Change we once thought was impossible. We were wrong. You are intertwined with the power in the East. There can be no doubt of that. Your energy reaches back to Alabastra. We do not know what will happen when you travel there, but we know that the power behind Gadflo is your ultimate goal. His god holds your answer and the fate of this world. I thank you. And perhaps you can help change our world's fate as well. I have seen those who were destined to be heroes, for whom great deeds came naturally. They come, they act, and they pass on as written. You do great things not because you must, but because you choose to. That is by far a far truer greatness. Admirable. But strength of will cannot see you through this alone. You may be unbound by fate, but you are not free from death. Speak with your allies. Only with their aid can you hope to overcome the forces that stand against you. I couldn't make out half of what the King was saying, but it sounds like you've got your work cut out for you. Good thing you won't be facing it alone. In fact, I think I've got a lead on finding an old friend of ours. Old Felmerus Hughes, of course. If anybody can help, it's bound to be the gnome who brought you back to life. I've been asking around and I was able to make contact with his superior. He thinks he might be able to help find Hughes. All gnome scholars have a Templar who sponsors their research, and apparently Hughes' sponsor, Templar Octien, is desperate to find him. Go southwest to the Hollowlands and Detir. Octien will be waiting there to discuss how you might reach Hughes. Who would have thought you were so interesting? Death seems to have worked out very well for you. Agarth's looking for escape. Neuralem's looking for a savior. And Tatarian is looking for a champion. And somehow, you're giving everyone what they want. I'm impressed. You're right. This won't be easy. The Tuatha have our forces under siege at Melsen Shear, and their power has only grown over the years. You'll need more help than just me and that old fate weaver. You'll need an army. A few years ago, one warrior could have slipped past unnoticed. But stealth is no longer an option. Not even for me. But there is hope. In the plains of Erethel, there waits a player who has been away from this game for far too long. It is time to contact General Talera. Meet me in the village of Emer, and I will tell you everything. Be on your way. Yes, Dustling.
Presenting she, the wisest Imperator. You've got the seat. <laughs> now we'll see if the Victor's Brew can stand up to a new challenger. I'll have a batch of Asuka's draft ready before the week is out. Take this, friend. And like I promised, the merchants here will give you a discount. You've got a home here in the alley for as long as you like. Thanks for the business. Hi, how are you? Presenting she, the wisest Imperator. Done well, child of the dust. Those below will never know what is really happening. But in the end, is this a part of the many seasons or the sudden tempest? Does hiding the rot not spoil the harvest, no? Take this. You're brave. Perhaps we will meet again. Farewell. Yes, mortal? We must not be seen in fellowship. Our agreement must remain in the shadows where it belongs. Goodbye. Mmm. -hmm. 